Adventure Buddies, welcome back to this week's video. And in this week's video, we're gonna go over the top five things you need to know if you're a beginner zipliner. Cue the intro. following along with our adventures, you've seen that we zipline quite a bit. If you don't follow along, what are you waiting for? Please hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways, let's get into our list of must knows. First up, let's talk about your hair. As you'll be wearing a helmet and a harness, so we highly suggest putting your hair back so it doesn't get in the way. Trust us, you don't wanna have to be dealing with your hair flipping in your face because that ruins the experience as well as those pictures. Next thing you need to know is to wear closed-toed shoes, or at least sandals with a strap. Not only do zipline companies require closed-toed shoes, but nothing's worse than losing your flip-flop 100 feet above ground. So what's an adventure without being able to document it, right? You gotta remember it somehow. So one thing to note before going ziplining is how are you gonna capture the moment? And so most zipline companies don't allow you to bring a selfie stick on the zipline for you, primarily due to safety reasons. So think ahead. One of the things that we do is we use our GoPro mount on our helmet or a chest mount. Sometimes they can also allow you to hold your cell phone out and get that selfie moment, but who wants to drop their phone? That's a pretty expensive mistake to pay. So if you don't have a GoPro, or you don't have a camera ready, we do suggest looking into some of the photo packages that some of these excursions offer, because again, you wanna capture that adrenaline or the fear on you or your adventure buddy's face. Another thing you should know is that some people may view ziplining as scary, but everywhere we've been to has been extremely safe and the staff continues to check your equipment prior to each zipline you go on. However, it should be noted that typically once you start the zipline course, there normally isn't an option to turn around and go back. And the only way to get back to your car is riding that zipline. So we just caution you to know that information prior to making that decision to go. And I wouldn't be a mother if I didn't tell you to make sure you bring your sunscreen. Yes, you're going fast through the tree lines, but you're often standing above the tree line in the direct sunlight. Hey, but if harness tan lines are your thing, then go for it. And so there you have it, some simple yet effective tips for that beginner zipliner. In short, make sure you have the right clothes, the right gear, and most importantly, the right sense of adventure. And so I'll leave you with this bonus tip here. When going ziplining, make sure to go with some cool people because after all, life's an adventure. Who are you going on it with? 